Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Karen at Adams Memorial Library, and I'm here today with Dandelion Lion and Brian E. Bear. And they are proud to show you the little box that they made. They made it. They can keep candy in it or anything else that they want. And they made it from using a library book. That's how they learned how to do it. And when I was little, when I was a little girl, one of my favorite books was an old, old book called The Everything Book things to make and do. And so the books this week are about things to make to do, make and do. Bryony and Dandelion are always looking for things to do. So if you are looking for things to do too, we've got some books to tell you about. The first one is called Easy Paper Projects and it's by Maggie Woodley who does Red Ted Art. And if you've done any of our take home kits, you've probably seen some projects from Red Ted Art because I really, really, really like them. And when I found out that Miss Maggie had a book, I got it for the library. Easy paper projects. So that's something fun to do. And if you do like working with paper, you can do origami. More origami for children, 35 fun paper projects to fold in an instant. Let me tell you, it did take me, when I was working with the things in this book, a little more than an instant, but it's still fun. And this book was put together by Mari Ono. Do you like to cook? I like to bake. I like to do the bake tales and I like this cookbook too. My first cookbook, Fun Recipes to Cook Together, because you know, baking and cooking is always better with a friend. So this is something you can bake together. You could make snacks, breakfast, lunch, dinner, sweet treats, and even holiday recipes are in here. And this was put together by America's Test Kitchen so they know what they're doing and they got kids to test it too. So all the recipes in here should be yummy and they'll tell you just how to make them. And the last book, I told you my favorite when I was little was the Everything Book. This could be my new favorite now that I'm big. How to babysit your grown up activities to do together. Because let me tell you, friends, I didn't have how to make a volcano in my book when I was little. So might need to be trying that now. How to Babysit Your Grown-Up was written by Jean Reagan with Janae Brownwood and the illustrations are by Lee Wildish and it's got lots of fun things to do. So let's talk a little bit more about these books. One of my favorite things from this book are these corner bookmarks. You fold up the paper, you take a square of paper and these bookmarks will fit right on the corner of your page. There, no muss, no fuss. Once you know how to make the basic bookmark like this, you can turn it into something like this. So here's a unicorn bookmark that started off just like this and it started off just as a square of paper. So if you like making things like that, this is a good book for you. She's got all kinds of ideas. Here's a fancy card you could make. And you know, a lot of these you'll probably see in the take home kits because I really like the things that she does in here. And I like that Miss Maggie is uh, really in favor of reusing. So she, she saves her pieces of paper because you never know when you can make something new with them. Decorations for fall, lots of fun stuff to do in here. So this one is called Easy Paper Projects. Save your paper, check this book out from the library and you will be set. The origami book, it actually says in here that there's paper included. There was paper included. If you check this out from the library, it's not gonna have paper in it. You're gonna need to find your own paper, but that is okay because then you can make things, find some paper and you can make things like the gift box, which is what? Briny and Dandelion made. And this one, you don't even need a square of paper. It takes a whole rectangle. So if you just find a piece of paper, you could decorate it however you like and turn it into your little box. But if you like animals, if you like flowers, if you like, um, what other kind of things could you make in here from origami? You could make, oh, you could make a sumo wrestler. You could make a boat. You could make a rocket ship. You could make cupcake, squirrel, whale, all kinds of good stuff. So get your origami paper or any kind of paper, plain paper. You can start folding fun origami when you have this book out. 
But if you need a snack, you might need this book. My first cookbook and one of the snacks in it that I've made are No Bake Energy Bites. And it says they are good for an after school snack. I can promise you that they're also good for being at work in the afternoon snack and needing a snack. You make these, you don't even have to turn on the oven. You can make them with nut butter or non-nut butter, like sunflower butter, oats. You could put in some nuts. You could put in some chocolate chips if you wanted. They give you different ideas. So yummy. And um, David, who is age five, calls these delicious and fun to make. And whenever I eat one, I want to eat a hundred. So that's high praise indeed. It doesn't get any better than that. If you want something, try not to eat a hundred, but if it tastes so good that you might like it, that might be good. So there's lots of other things in here. If you wanted to make your own pizza, there's a recipe for that. If you wanted to make, learn how to cook fish, there's a recipe for that. So all kinds of things you can do together. And this one also has so many fun things that you can do together. And like the book that I had when I was growing up, it's all different kinds of things. This one has things you can do outside, like building a snowman, flying a kite. If you'd wondered how to do them, this book will tell you how. Fun with paper, fun with science, like making a volcano. Maybe that should be an outside thing too, but still, you know, volcano, that'll be fun. Oh, how to make a lava lamp, how to make how to make goop. Can't go wrong with that kind of stuff. It also has things to eat, crafts to make, and ways to use your imagination and play together with a family. And my goodness, it also has something called how to make it rain in your house. But don't worry, there's no actual water involved. So how can you make it rain without any water? Just using your hands? When you check this book out from the library, you'll know. You'll be able to do that too. So when you're getting bored, if you need something to do, the weather starts getting colder, these books will be waiting for you at the library and they will keep you set, ready to go and ready with lots and lots of fun things to do. So you can come and check these out at the library. Thank you very much for watching today and Dandelion and Bryony and I will see you next time with some more books to talk about. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.